I'm also testing the, the Emco spindle. The buzzing in the rear is the heater I need in the winter time. And this spindle is really just a um, like a drill press spindle or a milling spindle it is. But it has a double row roller bearing set up here. That's uh, what makes it special, at least in my eyes, so that it's um, sort of high class. It's a pain to get in, but anyway. But what I will do is I'll tuck it completely in there and keep it there and just uh, delete uh, the option of because this is not how it's supposed to be when it's operating as a milling spindle so that you can have um, a little bit action there but i don't need that i will use it as a lathe i am over at the emco lathe and uh, testing the spindle thousands the outer roundness is okay and um, if I go out so it drops a little bit but out here also it's okay with the respect to But I need to address this that it drops. So it drops a little bit on me, uh, meaning that I have to uh, scrape the headstock lower so that it goes a little bit down. So I will scrape it um, under here a little bit. I guess it's always been like this, but. Nonetheless, and the face is absolutely no deviation at all. Can this be true? Just shift it a little bit. Two, maybe. Co headstock. I have um, just been scraping a little bit on the other side here uh, to tilt it. Uh, what was it? Uh, a little bit higher, like that. I have scraped the rear end here so it will go a little bit up. The step scraped it means I have scraped. Just to have scrape all over and we gun once there and twice three times four times and five times so they're about tilting it a little bit down and this is a different version of the same uh, principle as on the myford namely to to guide the the headstock um, in that plane so you screw these adjusting screws here or rather this a little bit like that. Uh, I'm setting up these uh, column guidance blocks again and uh, as they are loose so to speak in the, um, the holes are bigger squared up with the spindle at least the one First with these adjusting screws and the other will follow this one. Um, I'm inclined to um, first set them up like this and then to, to drill holes in the in the um, bed uh, bedways as, as is done on Myford because on these you have no holes you have to I think at least just put them up like this um, squared first this one measure uh, the, the width and then try out and then it's a cut and try affair and then 
iterated process I guess to get it all aligned up it would have been much easier to have holes so that I could adjust them through I mean in situ hmm. who did this to facilitate um, the positioning of the headstock whereas they use the same let's say system as on the Myford we have two strips that align to the inner side of the bedways I machined some holes two holes so that I could enter and thereby aligned or snug it up easier than sort of a cut and dry method before I bolt it down here thought that was a worthwhile improvement